notes in here. I'm not talking about the notes, sweetie. I'm not talking about the notes. I'm trying to tell you how it smells. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Valley Von, the Perfume Dot, back at you with another fragrance video. Thank you so much, new subscribers, for joining my Perfume Mafia. Here is where we smell good. We feel good, look good, everything all together. That's the goal of this channel, to just make sure we're living our best lives ever, okay? Today, you voted for it. So you got it, you want it, you got it. You want it, you got it, okay? So you guys wanted to see, this is a video talking about the sexy, perfect for summer date night fragrances. Some places things are open, but even if it's not, you can get creative. You can go to a park, have a nice little picnic. You can do a drive-in. You just spend time with each other, do roller skating. You know, there's so much that you can do. You don't have to be sitting inside of a restaurant. But these fragrances are really great for summer because I've tested them. And in my opinion, none of them are gonna be the kind of fragrance that turns sour. As you know, you need different fragrances for summer because of a multitude of reasons. But one of the reasons is that you don't want it to be too deep, too heavy. So all of these maintain a sexy identity while still being appropriate for summertime. And some of them have like a little bit of like a flirtatious element to them some of them are just like full-on sex appeal so let me know comment below i love to start a conversation with you guys let me know what are some fragrances in your collection that are a little bit sexy that you're going to be rocking for date nights this summer because just because miss quarantine miss covid19 is out here don't mean we can't go on a date i mean i haven't been on a date since the year of the monkey but that's just me all right let's get into it so the first one oh and also yeah, that's okay. Let's just get into it. <laughs> so the first one, I really, really love this one. This is for my more innocent, maybe a younger audience, a little bit more demure, um, that type of a fragrance. So I really like this scent. I think it's really good for all ages, but also if you're the type of woman that's not so boisterous, if you kind of want to not lead with your scent, but you want something to kind of like wave so long, that kind of thing where you kind of have to get a little bit closer to get a whiff, then this one's really nice and it's great because it's not going to turn in the summer, okay? So this is just Chloe Eau de Parfum, okay? This, I'm sorry, this is Love Story by Chloe Eau de Parfum. Really, really, really like this one. I love Love Story. I love all of Chloe's scents. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Come off. Okay, she's shy. I told you that this fragrance was shy. This is for my shy girls. This fragrance is just like a light, fresh, floral fragrance. Oof, that was hard to say. Light, fresh, floral fragrance. Very nice, very wafty. It's kind of like you just get trails of it, but it's nice. It's just going to smell like you just washed your hair and you had like a floral um, shampoo. So that's what it's going to smell like. So also, you got to know your guy or whoever you're dating. You have to know them. Do they like really strong scents? Have they complained in the past? Then hit him with this one. If he complains with this one, just be like, you know what? You have too many requests. Zulzans, okay? So this is Chloe, Love Story, Ode Parfum, okay? The next one that we have is going to be from, I have to throw this in here. You know what? If a freaking pop star of the world says that this smells amazing, then we have to agree, and it absolutely does. And I absolutely bought it because of that reason. And you know what it is? It's from Killian. Love, don't be shy. Love this scent so much. I still haven't transferred it. Oh, actually, I did. I just transferred it to a spray bottle. Sometimes I use a spray bottle. Sometimes, because this is just the refill that I bought, sometimes I just drop it over my body and like mix it with a body lotion, that kind of thing. Um, but it smells so freaking good. It's like a light marshmallow, creamy, whipped cream, light, fluffy, sweet, very diaphanous, transparent kind of a scent. So it's really good. So it's not going to fight even though it's a sweet scent and you i know usually you guys are like um no sweet scents in the summertime but first of all you know if you really really stick to that strictly then you could wear it at night and you definitely won't have any problems but even in the sun this, you're not going to have any problems with this fragrance you're just going to maintain a slight fluffy sweetness and ooh, i kind of want to wear this today oh maybe we'll see we'll see but yeah this is light fluffy sweet um, perfect for all ages. Again, I think that if you're a young girl, the, hey, this is a quaint. So if you're a young girl, you got your quaint. This is a very nice one. All the way up to a mature audience. I think anyone can enjoy this scent. And whoever says this scent is not good. I'm looking at you. <laughs> all right. The next one that we have is going to come from, I know this is like polarizing scent. A lot of people are like, they don't like it. I love it. 
I love it, I love it, I love it. And the thing that I love most is the price tag because this is from Beyonce. This is one of the flankers from Heat. Ooh, Heat is not good. Let's put this out there right now. Heat is not good for warm weather. That is a strong, strong, woody, spicy fragrance to me. And I don't think it's good for summer. But this flanker of Heat is very, very nice. This is Heat Wild Orchid. Something very sexy about it. You know what I shouldn't have done? I'm sitting here doing this perfume video. I have my oil burner right there and I put in some tangerine oils in it. And I kept there, I was like, who is peeling an orange? I was like, is, did somebody break into my house and start eating oranges? Did they bring them? Cause I don't buy them. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The oil burner. So it's interrupting. I can't even smell what I'm trying to smell. Anyways, the scent. It's like, it has a light sweetness to it. It's like the sweeter side of a floral. But as I told you, orchid is like one of the sexiest florals of all time. Sometimes it even has like a creaminess, a spray. Mmm, yes. There's something that's like a tropical element about this too. Something about a lot of Beyonce fragrances, they kind of have like a tropical element. I don't know, maybe she just loves the beach or something. But I mean, when you have that money, you love the beach and you can live there. But anyways, <laughs> like a tropical floral um, with a hint of sweet. And it's definitely a sexy fragrance to me. And it's very nice because it's not going to turn sour or anything when it hits the sun. I really like the scent. Great for daytime, great for nighttime. I love it. I love that one so much. I need to wear it some more. But it's only a one fluid ounce. This is not a scent that I'm... <sighs> You know, it's not everywhere, so it's the kind of the scent you have to search for. And this is not a scent that I would want to search for, if it makes any sense. Like, anyways, we move forward. The next one is going to be from one of my favorite lines. This is, I talk about all the time. I'm going to continue to, because just like the more I smell it, the more I'm like, this is such a great fragrance. So this is from a black owned fragrance. It's a niche perfume brand. This is the Elemental Fragrances, and this is Amoris. Amoris. One day, I promise I will learn how to say this, but for now, this is such a beautiful, it's a vanilla orchid again. So we got the sexy, we got a little bit of sweet with the vanilla. It's more of like a creamy smoothness to this fragrance. We also have some, is it Lotus? Lotus is in there, and Amber, which makes it like a little bit more depth, a little bit even more sexy, which also, you know, the Lotus kind of makes it like more so for daytime. Lotus is kind of like an aquatic floral. Also, usually like really uplifting. It uplifts fragrances, so it's great for daytime. But then the amber in there and then the vanilla, which is not a very, very sweet stickly. You don't have to worry about it. But that vanilla just adds a creaminess and a sexiness that's perfect for evening. But I really, really, really like this scent. And just whenever I smell, I'm just like, I just smell so womanly so sexy and so assertive like this scent smells like you're sure of yourself i love it but this is from the elemental fragrances this is amoris you can check them out go to their instagram page check them out and let them know that lolly vana perfume doll sent you okay girl <laughs> next one is going to be my for my citrus lovers i feel like i don't give you guys enough uh, you can get this one at Sephora, but you can find it other places online as well. This is from Toka. I'm sorry, I said from Stella. This is from Toka. This is Stella. Stella. This is a nice, like, a little bit of, like, a spice. Almost like um, a dried out, almost like potpourri fruit. Does that make sense? Like, dried fruit. That's what it smells like, which doesn't sound, it doesn't sound appealing, but it smells so good. So, this fragrance has blood orange, freesia, spice lily, spicy lily and sandalwood so it's just a very very nice it's like a whimsical fun fragrance that's very sexy it's very sexy you know what it reminds me of the hermes twilly dermes that's what it reminds me of but like a lighter fresher interpretation of that so i don't know it's just like the perfect like it's a light spicy so don't let that scare you if you usually don't like spicy very light just like almost like wake you up invigorating that's what it smells like to me really like this scent a lot this is very nice mm. for my people that are going on vacation risking it all i see you girl this is a nice vacay scent to me it's like an elegant beachy tropical it's not tropical but there's something that's beachy and elegant about it. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Have you smelled it? Toka Stella? Let me know. What do you think? Really, really like that one. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be from Versace, Versace, Versace. 
Okay, this is going to be one of my favorite of all time, even though I never freaking wear it. I need to wear it. This is Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue. And this box is so beautiful. I can never get rid of this box ever in life. Ugh, so gorgeous. This is Dylan Blue for women, because clearly I'm a woman. But they do have Dylan Blue for men. And it does smell actually so similar. It does smell so similar. And I actually have a video on my channel, if you guys want to check it out, of like men and women pairing kind of sense. If I can find it, I have so many freaking videos. Sometimes it's a task for me to find the videos that I'm talking about. Like, I don't know where it is. But if I can find it, then I'll link it somewhere right here. All right. So this one, it just smells like a fresh rose scent to me like that's all it kind of smells like pear too it smells very soapy it smells like shampoo soapy like a fleshy fruit and light florals like rose love this one but it's perfect it's not gonna turn it's not gonna turn it just smells so soapy it's fresh clean soapy but like with the sexy element almost like a skin scent something that draws people in makes them want to get closer really love this one very sexy oh so sexy okay the next one that we have is going to be from tom ford love this one tom ford eau de soleil blanc another one that i never reach for but it's so good it's so good and again for the people that's going on the island vacay check this one out i'm sure this is like so iconic i'm sure a lot of people are already using it but this is the not the Soleil Blanc, but the Eau de Soleil Blanc. So it's a little bit more watered down, but it just has like a little bit of like a citrus mixed with the coconut in there. Creamy coconut, buttery coconut, but then it also has like an uplifting, like almost like white floral citrus component. Very, very nice. Love this one. Mmm. Why does it kind of smell like it has like bergamot or neroli or something like that? Something that's zesty in there. I don't know, but that's what it smells like. And dare I say, I will say that this is unisex. Like I can see this on a man. The performance to me isn't the best. I do have a full review on this one on my channel if you want to check it out. But I mean, I don't know. Drop it below. What are some better lasting coconut scents? Better than the um, Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc? Or the Soleil Blanc. Maybe it should, is it because I need to just get the Soleil Blanc? For when I tried them in Sephora, Soleil Blanc was not super more long lasting than Eau de Soleil Blanc to me. So I don't know. But, anyways, the next one that we have is going to come from, I'm like looking down. I'm like, which one did I already talk about? I'm getting confused, girl. I'm getting confused. It's gonna be a celebrity scent, and this is just like so amazing. Some people say it's a dupe. Some people say it's a dupe from four. I'm about to say Chantel. Chanel Mademoiselle. That's what people. That's what people say it's a dupe for. Um, I don't know about that. Are they similar? Yes, but I wouldn't say it's a spot on dupe. But if you like that one, then you'll like that one. If it makes sense. But anyways, this one is a very nice berry sweet. I think it has um, vanilla in there. It might have some berries in there. A very sweet, very sensual, sexy kind of a scent. That type of allure. It's not super loud. It's not super robust, but it definitely has some presence. Oh, it is very nice juicy the berry in there is very juicy it kind of reminds me if you like rihanna's rebel fleur that type of scent but like take away more of like the woody patchouli spiciness and you get more of like the sweet berryness that's that's what this is I really really like this one a lot this is sophia by sophia vergara that we have is going to be one that i really like this is like a musky i want to say this has like strawberry or something in it but i really really like this one it's from vince camuto this is a more this is just like when you first spray you just get this burst of fruitiness i don't know what it is it smells like fruit it smells like a fruit salad it smells like watermelon it smells like strawberry when you first spray but then it quickly dries down to a light fresh musky scent almost dries down to something that's similar to gucci bloom to me i'm sorry not gucci bloom not gucci bloom something that smells like gucci bamboo okay so it opens up with that like strawberry watermelon type scent and then it quickly gets to like something that's like a little bit more musky and as you know you guys are like dang she smell like all those on it who cares they all smell like a more of like a musky scent so and as you know if you watch my other video it's going to be one of the sexiest scents of all time, people say musk is. So, right there, Amore by 
Vince Camuto. And it means love. So surely love should come from that scent, don't you think? Okay, the next one that we have is going to come from Guerlain. This is Mon Guerlain, but this is the Brazilian one. This is the Eau Sensual. Someone else actually told me that this was not the um, other perfume of Sensual, Mon Guerlain, but it literally says it right here. It says it right here in the bottle. So if it's not, that's their mistake. Ha <laughs> ha, that's their mistake. But yeah, this is the same as the Mon Guerlain original floral fragrance. I think it has the lavender in there still. But it just turned it up. This is for the Brazilian market. So that's how you know it's made for hot weather, sweetie. That's how you know it's made for hot weather. It's for the Brazilian market. So it's made to be a little bit of like, you could take the heat a little bit more. But then also has like a juiced up a little bit amount more of sweetness. It has a little bit more sweetness in it, which I really, really like. And I think this is so sexy. And just as it says, it says Oh Sensual. I wonder why did I choose this one and not the Oh Sensual for the Chloe Love Story. Oh, since you have been getting too much shine, we have to give the OG some love, okay? That's how it is. Equal opportunity employers. Okay, and the last one, I saved the best. I don't know about the best. Oh, oh, no, 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 I didn't. Wait, 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 wait. Miss Sony, I love this one. So this one is actually very unique. Something like very bit. Something about this is like fruity, but then powdery, fresh. And then sweet as well. It's very odd. Like every time I spray this, it smells different to me. I don't know. It's so weird. Like more so in fall, winter, it smells a little bit more like sweet to me. But in the summer, it smells more powdery and citrus. This is a very odd fragrance. But this is Miss Sony M. This is the other Toilette. I don't know. There's something about this fragrance. It's like sexy though. It's like innocence but sexiness at the same time the duality of the two love it so much but look i just love that bottle too this stays my vanity even though i never grab her girl you get to go love had you for years and look how much you're going oh well you know you smell good you know you smell good okay so moving on to the actual last one okay this is going to be an affordable option which is another reason why it's so freaking amazing but this is from aja provocateur this is fatal intense love this one there's so many flankers of this line but this is so sexy now one thing i have to warn you, you have to get past when you first spray it's going to smell a little bit like woody it's going to smell super woody spicy once you get past that it smells like the most delicious berry scent of all time and it's like it has really good performance and it's kind of strong i don't know what's in here i'm not talking about the notes sweetie i'm not talking about the notes i'm trying to tell you how it smells it smells like berry when you when it dries down like let me spray it yeah it smells super woody patchouli when you first spray it which is fine some people like that as well shout out to my girls i like a stronger scent hey girl how are you but i'm telling you when it dries down it immediately transfer transfers to like a sweet a sweet scent a sweet demure scent and then it goes straight to like a burst of like berries and like literally this was on my hand i was waving my hand around doing all this type of stuff you know what i do when i know what i do and i do it dries down to a beautiful berry scent that's just like so edible it's so edible oh my god you know what i want to try this scent layered with love by killian don't be shy get out of here i think that's girl let's do it let's do oh i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it but i'll have to do it one day but all right well those are my picks for some sexy scents some great date scents not necessarily date night but date scents that you can rock that are you can rock they're gonna be fine for hot weather let me know comment below if these work for you like this video if you like this video share this with someone else that's going on a date and they really need some information and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace